Okay, so to pick up where we left off, this is Lehman's uh, attempt to understand astrophysics 101. Uh, and I hope that uh, I get a response uh, from some, some physicists. To, I'd rather have them tell me to shut up than not hear what I'm trying to do at all, uh, I guess. Maybe not. <laughs> Knock on wood. Uh, okay, so uh, E equals mc square. It is energy times uh, speed uh, energy times mass times the speed of light square, and uh, s equals a over four is Stephen Hawking's uh, crack in the door to a wonderful and incredible universe of thought that has to do with the higher path. That's how I look at it. I don't know. I, I like I say, uh, that's how that you know. However, you regard your regard your environment, your universe, the world around you, uh, and your little backyard or big backyard or backyard that surrounds you, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, phys physically, and philosophically, is your is is up to you in terms of your control over your little uh, space in this vast realm. Uh, and all of that, what I just said, doesn't even mean anything. So, uh, having said that, uh, the only thing I understand about astrophysics and the, the equation that was uh, given to us by the wonderful Stephen Hawking's, and I, I found that out through uh, the auspices of Neil deGrasse Tyson's interview with him, uh, which I encourage you to just, all you have to do is just Google it, YouTube it, uh, and check it out. Because and Stephen Hawking's, you know, first the first thing it's wonderful to do is, and, and it's it, he's been an inspiration for so many years for me for this reason, not only him but others as well. Wilma Rudolph, uh, I could the, the list goes on, but those two come to mind uh, in terms of people who have done incredible things in spite of physical uh, barriers. Uh, and barriers don't have to just be physical. They could be mental, emotional, and spiritual. Anyway, A equals, uh, S equals A over 4. Uh, and I don't even know if I got that right. I, you know, I'm like I say, beyond a layman, I'm not even that smart. But I believe it's S equals A over 4, which is, and look it up and make sure I'm right. Because I'm trying to draw at the same time as I'm trying to talk about astrophysics when I don't know about any of it. Uh, all I know about drawing is I'm not very good, but I love to do it. So in terms of a, uh, uh, S equals A over 4, uh, uh, Stephen Hawking in his interview, uh, when he was interviewed by the great Neil, also great Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, before, before uh, Dr. Hawking passed away, was that um, uh, S equals A over 4 is an equation that represents the relationship between a black hole's entropy and its horizon. And then there were other astrophysicists interspersed with, with that interview and, and another wonderful YouTube. There were like three, Neil deGrasse Tyson and two others, Dr. Tyson and two others, uh, talking about what a horizon is in terms of a black hole and what, it, what is entropy in terms of a black hole and the fact that nothing is. It's all kind of like speculation, but there's evidence that these things exist in the way that they do. And the, the more you seem to delve into this, I got the impression from these incredible young physicists, the more you delve into it, the more you realize that the less you know, the more you know, or something. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say is the word Valpurgisnacht. And what is that? What is Valpurgisnacht? Maybe I'm getting way, way out of hand. <laughs> somebody hold me back. Okay. And I don't mean to. Um, thank you to uh, somebody. Uh, I, uh, 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 it's too early. Okay. So everybody, all I want you to do is uh, work on your math notebooks, your art notebooks. And remember that math is related to the application of math, which is, in this case, a better understanding of our universe in general and our world in specific. To be continued, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day.